right, so I'm joined today by Cognitive Shing. How do you feel about the match you just played? I feel really good. I felt like I, I played way better than I had in the previous days, so I'm, I'm excited. I, I wasn't expecting to play best up. It was kind of just a, a sudden pick, but I'm, I worked out. So, I mean, obviously they banned out Thor. They banned out Naja, top tier jungles. How, I mean, what, what was your thought process going through to pick Bastet? Honestly, I, the, my team will probably say, like, yo, we had this big strategy where we would do. But in my mind, I was like, oh my god, they banned out Thor. They banned out Niza. I didn't really expect that because nobody really does that. And I was, I was worried, but I, would, I just saw Bastet. And I, I remember in the past that I played her in a tournament at work. And I was like, just give me Bastet. We'll see what happens. And it worked. So, I mean, why not Fenrir, Hoonbots, or even like the, the second tier, like like Hebo, Freya? I hate those characters. Um, I have never won a competitive match with Fenrir. So, I every single time I picked it, I've, I've lost. So, I, I didn't bother with him. Humbats, I didn't play that well with him earlier in the tournament. So, I decided to avoid him. Uh, and other junglers are just not that great. But I, you know, I saw Lasses run best that, and they actually won. So, I, I figured that it would be. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do too bad, especially versus their team comp, you know. I, they had a lot of CC, I could just get out of it by leaping back and stuff. So, I mean, how do you feel about the current state of Bastet as well as balance, I mean, your skill set? I actually, I really like her. I don't mind her passive. I actually, I noticed it in the game today, like, McStealth would die before me, but I would get up, like, 20 seconds quicker than him, you know? So it was like... Interesting. So, I mean, obviously, third place. Congratulations. Um, I mean, it was a very, very long weekend. I mean, it was something that I'm sure a lot of players struggled with. I mean, just coming in, I mean, it, it was level playing for because everyone was playing on those uncomfortable keyboard right. headsets with the monitor up above you. Uh, so, I mean, how do you feel about the tournament overall, how it was run, and the experience you had? It was it was fun. I'm glad I, you know, I, I got to meet with the teams again and everything. I wish the setup was a little bit like it was in Rooster Teeth, but... You know, you can't complain. High range treat us, they treat us really well, like always. And I had a good time. Had a good time. So, I mean, going forward, you guys always got third place. I mean, it seemed like a rocky start. You picked up a lot of steam. And, of course, today you guys came out very strong, looked super sharp, and the transitions were flawless. How do you take away from this tournament going forward? Do you adjust your strategies, your practicing, or you just go, uh, you know, I mean, what, what do you do now? Honestly, when we get back, we might try some role switching. Like, I might uh, go into solo, and KO might go into jungle, and Omega might go to range AD. Uh, we're going to try uh, start looking at VODs, because we're kind of, we're, we're, we're known as, like, the lazy team. We don't really, we just go in, and we pray for the best, and we just copy other team strategies. And we're going to start playing gods that we feel more comfortable with. You know, I picked Fenrir because people say he's good, but I like Bastet, so I'm going to start playing her more, and just we're just going to play gods that we like, as opposed to trying to follow the meta that the other teams are playing. Sure. All right, well, thank you for coming out today, and uh, good luck going forward.